set Yelp to one side for the time being, but you do work with them. And I actually wanted to really dig into your own revenues at the moment. You've been seeing that revenue potentially might ease off a little bit this fourth quarter compared to previous. And that is the shift towards cloud computing, is it? Is it that's the trend in which we're seeing it go? Yeah, we, um, we're in this great space uh, around big data, which just keeps exploding. Yeah. And one of the, the attributes of big data is you want to be close to where the data is being generated, which means cloud is important for us, just like on-prem. I don't think we'll ever be a full cloud company, but a cloud model defers revenues. Um, over time, it's a great uh, technology and approach for our customers. Um, and so we'll, we'll have a blend, we're unique in that we have a blended model, and I think we'll always have a blended model of on-prem based revenue and cloud based revenue. On-premises, you think will eventually, what, be about 85% and cloud 15%? Would we see cloud going even bigger? I, I think so. I think so. I think there's a natural uh, ceiling for cloud, again, based on really? where are people, for, for our type of business, based on where people are running their, their data. Um, it's really expensive and risky to transport petabytes of data per day across a network. Yeah. So if you've got a huge computer center somewhere, not all those are going to go into the public cloud, then putting Splunk close to that computer center to be able to, to grab that data locally. Um, we've got this really cool technology that lets us do hybrid search. So some of your data can be going to the cloud, some of the data can be going on-prem, and then you look at it as one contiguous layer across the two. So you don't have to transport it needlessly, but you get the benefits of cloud where you want it and the benefits of on-prem where you want it. And let's talk about how your business is diversifying because let's, for example, use Yelp as one of your customers. You were, the, the stock and trade was helping these companies really analyze their own data, look through the vast quantities they were getting, analyze, ensure how their companies were performing. But also now you've got other services, right? You're, you're offering cybersecurity, you're offering other sorts of products. Where does that go? How important do those sorts of products become? So one of the really, really cool parts about Splunk is it's a highly flexible data architecture, which means different people can ask questions of the same data and get totally different answers. Okay. It's a really hard thing to do in this data-driven world. And how we wound up in security was people were reading in all this great data around IT systems to yeah. make sure that they stay up like Yelp does. Um, and they realized, gosh, if we ask security questions of that same data, they'll probably gonna get really interesting insights from that exact same data set. And then, like Yelp does now, they start bringing business people to that same data. As people are hitting websites and they're uh, tapping mobile devices and checking in, in different stores, there's all kinds of customer information that you can gather from that same data. Um, so we've traversed from the IT group to the security group to now hundreds of people across Yelp, as, as, a, as a classic example, using us for much more revenue generation, marketing, customer intimacy type data, which is that movement for us from IT to security to IoT um, that, that we're, we're super excited about. Internet of Things, a really big talking point. And I want to ask a little bit about what this means for you and your customers. Are you finding that your customer base remains relatively the same, but you're managing to sell them far more things? Or are you managing with these new products to lure in far more new customers? Are you going international? Um, like, luckily, luckily, a combination of all. Um, we've got uh, customers in over 100 countries. Uh, we've been a, a download for free and try it for free model and then pay as you see the value. Um, so that generate a broad base of customers early. Um, and, and what we're seeing, what we've been seeing for five, 10 years that you talk about a lot is this digital transformation that organizations are going through means that almost every company, certainly those who are gonna grow and stay alive are gonna become software and tech based companies. Yeah. So we started pretty aggressively in the tech sector, serving a lot of those big web properties like Yelp as an example, um, and financial services, telecommunications and government. Those are kind of classic origination for tech companies. But we are across every possible industry now um, with our uh, almost 13,000 customers that we keep, keep growing. So growing within customers, adding new customers uh, are both super important to us. Fascinating you mentioned government financials there. So much lip service paid to cybersecurity, cyber hacks. I asked this of a guest yesterday, are we just PRing it more? Is there just more media attention? Or actually are there more attacks happening thicker and faster and do you, your customers realize it? Um, I think there are more attacks happening, sadly. Uh, RSA next week, uh, fantastic show, can't wait to be there. We've got a ch chock full of customer uh, visits and I anticipate that they'll say the same things I've been hearing on the road over the past year. Um, ransomware is going up. 
the hackers are getting better at figuring out how to get into infrastructure. A crazy practice that you actually take the darn infrastructure over to your own computer systems, your own data, and then you've got to pay just to unlock your own systems back. Um, so we're seeing a lot more of that. We're seeing a lot more breaches and vulnerabilities. Um, where Splunk really comes into play is we help you detect those, those breaches as quickly as possible through that really flexible data layer so that you can shut them down, see where they started, shut them down, and, and try and prevent them from coming back in. Um, and I think we're just at the tip of the beginning of, of a lot more security issues over the coming, coming years.